Imagine walking into your CompTIA a exam and actually feeling excited instead of terrified. Sounds impossible, right? Well, what if I told you that the next few minutes could be the difference between passing and failing your a cert? Here's the twist. It's not about last minute cramming or secret exam hacks. It's about what you do in the 24 hours before you sit down to take the test. And I'm about to show you exactly how to own those crucial hours. By the end of this video, you'll have a battle-tested strategy that turns exam day from your worst nightmare into your moment of triumph. Ready to discover the A plus exam day secrets that most test takers never learn? Let's dive in. Pre-exam preparation. First things first, let's talk about the 24-hour countdown. Here's a mind-blowing fact. What you do the day before your exam can make or break your performance. But here's the kicker. It's not about last-minute cramming. Stop studying 24 to 48 hours before the exam. Yeah, you heard that right. Your brain needs time to process and store all that info you've been jamming in there. Instead, here's your pre-exam checklist. 1. Review your exam confirmation details. Double check the time and location. 2. Prepare your ID. You need two forms of valid ID for in-person exams. 3. If you're testing online, do a systems check. Make sure your webcam and microphone are working. 4. Pack lightly. Most test centers provide lockers, but why risk it? 5. Set out your clothes. Choose something comfortable with layers. Now, let's talk nutrition. You're not just feeding your body, you're fueling your brain. Avoid heavy, greasy foods. Go for complex carbs and lean proteins and hydrate, hydrate, hydrate. Sleep is your secret weapon. Aim for seven to nine hours. If pre-exam jitters are keeping you up, try some deep breathing exercises or light stretching. Exam day morning. Rise and shine, future tech titan. Today's the day you become a certified. Here's your morning game plan. 1. Eat a balanced breakfast. Oatmeal with fruits and nuts is brain food gold. 2. Do a light review. Skim your notes, but don't deep dive. This is just to warm up your brain. 3. Arrive early. Aim for 30 minutes before your scheduled time. This buffer helps you relax and adjust to the environment. 4. Use the restroom before you check in. Trust me on this one. For online exams, set up your space the night before. Clear your desk, close unnecessary programs, and have a glass of water ready. At the testing center. Walking into that testing center might feel like entering the Thunderdome, but you've got this. Here's how to own the room. 1. Check in confidently. Present your IDs and follow the proctor's instructions. 2. Use the locker provided for personal items. This includes your phone, watch, and any study materials. 3. Accept the dry erase board and marker if offered. If they don't offer, ask for it. You'll need it for notes. 4. Take a deep breath before you start. Remember, you've prepared for this. For online exams, do a final room scan. Make sure there's nothing in your testing area that could be considered suspicious. During the exam, all right, you're in the hot seat, the clock's ticking, and you're face to face with your first question. Here's how to navigate like a pro. One, start with the performance-based questions, PBQs. They're usually at the beginning and take more time. Flag them and come back later. Two, read each question carefully. Look for keywords like not or accept that can change the meaning. Three, if you're unsure, eliminate obviously wrong answers. This increases your chances of guessing correctly. Four, use your dry erase board, jot down important info or draw out network diagrams if needed. 5. Pace yourself. You have about a minute per question. If you're spending too long on one, flag it and move on. 6. Trust your gut. Your first instinct is often right. Remember, the a exam is tough, but it's designed to be passable. You don't need a perfect score, just a passing one. The time management. Time management isn't just important, it's everything. Here's how to make every second count. 1. Use the on-screen timer. Keep an eye on it, but don't obsess. 2. Divide your time. Spend about 15 minutes on PBQs, leaving 75 minutes for multiple choice. 3. If you finish early, great. Use that time to review flagged questions. 
Four, don't change answers unless you're absolutely sure. Second guessing can be dangerous. And here's a pro tip. If you're taking both core one and core two on the same day, bring a snack and water for between exams. You'll need to refuel. Post-exam steps. You've done it. You've conquered the A plus exam. But wait, your journey isn't over yet. Here's what you need to do next. One, take a deep breath. You've earned it. Two, complete the exit survey if offered. Your feedback helps improve the exam for future test takers. Three, receive your score report. You'll know immediately if you passed. Four, if you passed, congrats. Log into your CompTIA account to claim your digital badge and certificate. Five, if you didn't pass, don't despair. Review your score report, identify weak areas, and schedule a retake. Remember, there's no waiting period for your first retake. Now, let's talk about leveraging your new certification. Update your LinkedIn profile and resume and let your employer know. This cert is your ticket to new opportunities in IT. And there you have it, folks. Your ultimate guide to conquering the CompTIA A plus exam. Remember, this certification isn't just a piece of paper. It's your golden ticket to an awesome career in IT. From CISA in 1978 to the AI certs of today, CompTIA A plus has stood the test of time. It's your first step into a larger world of tech. Now I've got a question for you. What's your biggest fear about exam day? Drop it in the comments below and let's crush those fears together. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe for more tech career tips. And hey, if you want to dive even deeper, check out our A plus practice exam prep courses. The link's in the description. Until next time, keep learning, stay certified, and remember, in the world of IT, you're always one cert away from your next big break.